Good morning and welcome to 5 Minute Fresh Start. I'm Sebastian Lacido. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 says, Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. You know, that's a, a pretty bold statement. We live in the world. We're surrounded by physical things. We have homes. We have cars. There's trees. There's, you know, I mean, we, we're in a world and there's things in the world. But the Bible says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. All that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away in the lust of it. But he that does the will of God abides forever. Little children, it's the last hour. And as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists have come, by which we know it is the last hour. Amen. And so this is an important statement. And, you know, we can't five. I have five minutes with you. Right. And so understand he's, he's not talking about uh, trees and and and, uh, you know, other things. What he's talking about is not loving the world or God's creation above God. Putting God's creation above God is, is, is denying God, denying God's authority over creation. For instance, LGBTQ, when you look at it, it's, it, it they're living aside from the Bible, which, which means what? They deny God's word. They put the creature above the uh, uh, creator. Romans chapter 1 tells us that. But here, you know, it's also money. It's also the love of mammon, the, the wanting to keep up with the Joneses. It's, it's you know, uh, uh, when, when you look at this, Adam and Eve did this. They had the lust of the flesh. You know, the fruit looked good for food. The lust of the eye, it was pleasant to the eye. And then a tree to be desired to make one wise, the pride of life. Those three things caused them to usurp God's authority, his commandments, to put God's creation above God. You know, when you look at, it's the same thing when you look at, you can't serve God and mammon. You can't do both. You have to pick one or the other. You know, 1 Timothy chapter 6 says that the love of many, the desire of riches, you know, those that desire to be rich fall into temptation and a snare, the snare of what? The devil into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in production, uh, perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil. We're raised, it's almost counterintuitive to how we're raised, right? We're raised to, you know, in, in a world, we're raised where, you know, we have a status, where we own things, where we prepare ourselves for life by finding a skilled trade or finding a profession, you know, and we work at it. We work at and then through life, we begin to accumulate things in the world. I mean, this is who we are. This is, this is, you know, the world, right? But the Bible tells us not to put anything above God, not our jobs, not our families, nothing above God in our relationship with God. When you look at some of the parables that Jesus taught us, you know, he invited somebody to a banquet. God did. And, and one said, I, I, you know, I bought a piece of land. I can't come. I have to, oxen, I can't, I, I got married, I can't, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't have time for you. It's the same thing with uh, money. Let me build bigger barns. What's God's plan, right? And when you look at, at the end times and you look at the love of money, the love of wealth, the love of other things, the cares of this life, it chokes the word of God. We get too busy. We get too preoccupied with keeping up with everyone else. We just need to settle in and be content with what God's given us and understand that we serve Jesus and that's it. And so when you look at the love of other things, the love of the world, it's putting anything above God's creation. You know, and so all of the great ones in scripture have forsaken, you know, wealth and forsaken, you know, uh, status. I mean, Moses was in Pharaoh's house and he left. We're going to run a little bit over today. You know, and he left, he departed. It's the same thing with Paul. I consider my past to be done. You know, they didn't straddle both worlds. What did he tell the rich young ruler? Go and sell all that you have. What do you love more, me or your wealth? And, and uh, the Bible goes on to say it's very difficult for a wealthy person to get into heaven. Why? Because it's difficult, it's difficult to give up what you have here in the world that you've worked for 
or accumulated. We have to see God as being stronger. It's easy for those that know what Jesus did for them. It's easy. It was easy for Paul to give it all up. It was easy uh, if you if you really believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Well, I ran over today. I'm sorry about that. God bless you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see.